Hi, this is Christian. We're here in the Murray location of Summer Hills Music Center in Utah. And today I'm going to talk about you. I'm going to talk to you about uh, what a symphonic orchestra consists of. So, as probably most of you already know, in a big orchestra, we have, if I was the director, next to me on the left side, we have all the string section. And string section consists of the violin players, first violin means first voice, second voice, second violin, and then next to them is the viola section, which is an instrument in between the violin and the cello. On the right side, Right of the, on the right side there would be the cello section and a little further to the back on the right side there would be the bass section where the string basses are also known as upright basses they play and they make the whole sound for the string section. Way in the back we have the wind section which is being composed of brass means metal wind instruments that use air and woodwinds being seated in front of them. We have clarinet for instance, we have the oboe and um, we have the bassoon in the brass section, uh, what occurs to me, we have the tuba, we have trombones, we have trumpets, we have the French horn, so there's a, a couple of very interesting instruments. Uh, it is also common to have um, harp in the, ins in the section that we on the left uh, side behind, it's part of a string instrument and um, sometimes we have a piano if for instance the symphonic orchestra is playing a, a piano concert so it's a concert for piano as a solo instrument and the rest of the orchestra together. Now talking about the wind symphony orchestra which is a special section of the whole orchestra itself it's basically defined as uh, all the instruments in the orchestra minus the string section. So you, we should think of the brass section from the winds, the woodwinds and the percussions together, making music on the stage. And there are several works available from composers. 